Welcome back to Grim Acres. Uh, today we're going to do something a little different. I recently found this Chattanooga whiskey. I've heard of it, never tried it. It's a 91 proof. It says right here, straight bourbon whiskey. As most of you know, usually I'm pretty fond of Jack Daniels Tennessee whiskey. So I figured I'd give this a try. Uh, price comparisons pretty similar actually so they've really got to make sure they're stepping the game up but give me a second and we'll get a drink and I'll let you know what I think okay now I poured about half a shot of each figured might as well do a side-by-side -side comparison now that I have both first we're going to start with the Chattanooga whiskey Actually, it's not bad. You can tell there's a little stronger proof. But the actual taste is somewhat smoky. A hint of caramel. But let's see how it compares to good old-fashioned Jack Daniels. Alright. In conclusion feel that the Chattanooga whiskey if it was a little cheaper I would probably consider drinking it a little more often but being that it's the same price as the Jack Daniels and I still prefer the flavor of the Jack Daniels it's a little smoother a little more a little more bold but I'm also not much of a bourbon drinker I'm more of a whiskey drinker the Chattanooga whiskey is actually a bourbon and for a bourbon, it does have a really smooth flavor. Uh, the proof is fairly high on it. But, uh, I mean, I would recommend it for somebody that likes bourbon. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you. Okay, I've also decided that it'd be kind of unfair just doing a, like a shot test. A lot of people like mixing their bourbon and their whiskeys with cola. So, I'm going to make a pretty, probably pretty stout, but, you know. But yay much. Let me sit here and get a good view. But that much uh, bourbon. The rest of it with Coca-Cola. And take a taste test for that. Let's see how it goes. As you see, I've added about eh, a third of a jar of the Chattanooga whiskey. And now I'm fixing to add Coca-Cola. Probably a little more coke, just to give it a nice look. There you go. Now, hmm, yeah, that ain't real bad at all. So if you like a 90 proof bourbon with your cola, then I could probably recommend a Chattanooga whiskey. And for those who live around this area, around Chattanooga, uh, maybe want to go see a return of the distillery. It's just right off of a uh, Riverfront Parkway. And for those who don't, just look it up, go visit, and buy local for us. Thank you.